Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's clip features something which is so useful for Aikido but is often overlooked and very rarely formally taught. I'm talking about elbow strikes. In this clip, former world champion karate man Mark Stewart takes us through a very simple mechanical drill, shows a variety of strikes, how to pull them off nice and accurately, how to use the correct mechanics and how to keep yourself safe throughout. Of course, if you guys already use elbow strikes in your training, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you like what we're doing on this channel, smash the stuff below and enjoy the clip. So if he is a if he is a swinger, if he is a, a swinger. I'm just coming straight up this way. Straight in the inside. As soon as I have, bang, there's as soon as I see that shoulder and hip open, there, and then I'm back coming downwards. So I want to come up here, this part, straight under here, and then we're gonna come straight back down this way. And again, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, and then go like this. Because if I've hit him and he is moving back and I lean forward, I might have lost them all together. So I want to be in a position where I'm in. Yeah, and then I've got my knee strikes and so forth, right? At the moment I'm fighting everything's 50 in the front still, but just to show the technique. When with our system, um, if he comes on the outside, bang, bang, straight away I'm coming to the outside here, where it's hard for him to hit me. Okay, so I've got that here there. All I need to do is, like you guys do, is if, if he starts coming around, I take a step, I've got a spine, and turn you around, take him down. The thing is, I don't want to, I don't want to reach with that elbow, just move, move, bang, I've lost my thing here. So when I do my elbow, the rotation is around the spine again, here, so he comes back, I've got the next one. Just shifting, boom, boom, all right, very, uh, Elbow is such a hard natural thing and when you're in close to someone grabs it, ah, it doesn't seem much but it's very very effective, okay? Basically, if, if, if he can come in for an elbow and he drops that arm here, I'm in the exact same range, right? And if I see him coming there and I move around this way, if his hands are down, I've caught him, right? Now, if he throws, say he throws that elbow at me, straight up, straight up. There, and he comes down with that one because my hand was here. You see, if my hand's down here, bang. When I do my elbow, if my hand's here, see, I can catch that one. I've got the head, pop. If he comes around with that elbow, see, I don't need to just come around here. So, as long as my hand's there when I'm elbow, um, yeah, sorry. He knows what he's doing, so his hands are up. But a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of people do this, and when they do this one, they do this. The hand there. Like I said, if he's in range where he can hit me, I can hit him. But if I know my hands at my head, either I go straight in. So I don't even, I don't stand there. Do that. As soon as I see it coming in, I go there. Then I've got that, or I've got elbows, and. Just getting off the point of it, but once I've got the neck where the head goes, the body goes. So as long as I do that, I've got control. And the whole time I'd be striking. Striking. If I do that, he can pull his head up and strike me. So as soon as I get in here, it's there. So now he can't lift lift your head. And then I just use my forearms in here. Start striking here. Yeah? Okay. So when you do your elbow, if I slide up with this one, this one's protecting my head too. And then this one is like putting a dog on the dip, you know? Yeah, right there. Ah, so I'm protected against that, and then I can grab that head quickly, you see? So one, two, and three. Come back three if you want. Upper, downwards, rotate back, and then start here again. Okay. 